well. He likes to to get in close, get down low, and and you know, cut to the hoop. Uh oh, hi, hey Terry Funked. We are glad you're here for this uh, basketball, even if you missed last time. Whoa, I've been muted. Hello. Um, yeah. You know, you can't make everything. It seems like our our, our schedule is getting crazier and crazier. And you know, what can you say? Absolutely. So who honestly is the favorite in in this basketball match? Uh, I think I would give the slight edge to the um to the supreme team just because uh they're not the alt right. You see Ichabod wearing his uh his 45 jersey which he was very happy to uh, to acquire. Uh, you know, the, the nod to, to, of course, the current commander-in-chief. Um, for some reason, my my uh, Firefox is frozen. And... Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, well, <clears throat> getting back up, I just refreshed. Karate Hendrix with the first points of the game with a, a, of fairly, a fairly easy lay-in. Backing down uh, Fragrant Tanaka, who I think the the issue again with the this all right squad is outside of the the three main guys, no one else really wants to be on the team, so they're not going to put in as much effort as you know maybe I think most of the guys are fine with the Supremes that you know aren't direct family members. I th you know I I think Karate's fine with the Supremes. I think Freddie Fisher's fine with the Supremes. So there's no there's no issue of like I'm teamed up with a complete bunch of a-holes. But as I said, you know, Petrov hit that long-range three. I really hate kind of how um, low-key deadly the alt-right is. Yeah. From all over the court is the problem. They're lengthy. They're a yeah. very lengthy bunch. Yeah. Is that uh, Federal we... Bell down low? Uh, it probably was. Uh... You know, Bell is is notable for his uh, black oh, headband. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ichabod. With Interesting that, that he gets that uh, turnaround jumper right there. Um, I mean, he just got a big kickboxing win. Yeah, his his weekend was a complete you know peaks and valleys experience of beating the the champion and then getting brutally knocked out on a, a hardwood floor. Not not too dissimilar from what he's currently playing on. Absolutely right. I actually forgot that he got knocked out and bloodied. Yeah. Um. Oh, well, there's Freddie Fisher. Yeah, Lowell he got with knocked the... out and bloodied. Yeah. Blow hole with a fairly light foul, considering it's blow hole Bernard. I mean. The thing is, though, when it comes to uh, Federal Bell's win over Discussion Davis, he did bring him to a decision, and it wasn't like he dominated him or anything. No, I, I don't recall if it was split, but it probably should have been if it wasn't. But you can never trust. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, there was a couple of twenty nine, twenty eights in there. You can never. You can never really trust uh, kickboxing judges to to know really what they're looking at. It's nice to see Freddie Fisher do some work. You know. Yeah. Get in there and and, and, do, and do the hard work. You know the, the the kind of thankless job of drawing the foul, mm -hmm. knocking down some free throws. Yeah, he's a you know. I'm I'm sure the all right would want him just for his uh, commitment to being a, a gritty, hard nosed, blue collar type type player, but he wants nothing to do with them. I would be really annoyed if Federal Bell is pretty damn good at this, because I mean the guy was in an operation, like he's yeah he's an older dude, you know. Yeah. Petrov uh, threw that ball completely away. Like well, good. Jump. He's probably thinking about how, you know, um, Muller is closing in on him, I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe he, maybe he's found a buyer for, for the P-tape. Maybe he's, he's thinking about cashing out. So, I mean, as we see Hero Supreme bring the ball up the court here in, you know, Philly Supreme, like all these guys, uh, so many of them, so many Supremes. Like, are they thinking about Sandra Suzuki lost in the Shadow Realm right now? Like, how much does that affect their game? They gotta take a shot. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's it's weighing heavily on their minds. You know, it's, no one's willing to commit. They're just wanting to, uh, you know, pass the ball around and, and just not think about poor Sanders. And, I mean, poor Cheesesteak, too. I mean, he got hurt pretty badly uh, at the end of the night uh, Sunday. Um, yeah, for him to be out here is a testament to his character. You can yeah. tell that he is moving a little slow right now. Yeah. God, a lot of ball movement. Yeah. Hero's definitely taking Hero. a lot more shots <laughs> than I've I've usually seen. Usually he's uh you know, he's the facilitator of the of the team, but I guess he realizes, you know, Cheesesteak, who is, you know, another good out outside shooter is is not up to his ability, so Hero <laughs> Why feels are those he's got like looking into the air. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hero feels he's gotta he's gotta take it on upon himself in, in certain situations. Oh, Hero always feels that. Hero absolutely feels like he's the shoulder that needs to be cried on. He's the arm that needs to help people up. Um, but that's the question. It's like these people are losing their arms. And, and yeah. What happens then? Yeah. As, as we see Ichabod Adams badly miss a <laughs> wide open. Like, he, he made an excellent cut there. Yeah. Philly Supreme uh, and Hero Supreme seem to... Like, do you think that they played a lot as kids? Because they seem to have a bit of a rapport here. I mean, I'm I'm sure they played a little bit, but I I assume they played a lot of street football, uh. Down in down in South Philly or whatever part of Philly they they live in or lived in, um, you know, Karate Hendricks is is snatching up these rebounds though, which is really limiting these second chance opportunities for the all right. Right. And we see, you know... Really bad. Like, we're, we're seeing a lot of bad shooting right now. This yeah. is a very low-scoring game. 5-5 five to five at just about the 5-minute mark. Yeah. Um, never never a good thing to say that. Yeah. We, uh, we of course, are only playing 9-minute quarters, which uh, is kind of ironic considering we've had a run of MMA matches that have gone 9 minutes in total, 3-3-minute three, three uh, rounds. Sure. So it's, it's kind of extrapolated, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, you know, two early trips to the line for the, for the supreme team. Which, who fouled you know, uh, hero here? Who uh, was Fra it? Fragrant Tanaka. So, okay. uh, Bla uh, blowhole and fragrant both with uh, quick, quick-ish fouls, I, I guess. You know, four, Can't speak four too minutes much in. Fragrant, but blowhole is a guy who that that this alt right team needs down low. Um, he's a banger. And yeah. he's going to do uh, the type of work that needs to be done underneath the basket. I mean, especially... He's also got a hell of a right, fan, right hand, and he yeah. was a former MMA champion, I believe. Yeah, it's, especially if a guy Terrible like Fr Freddie Fisher is is trying to check him. And, you know, I, I like Freddie Fisher, but the size and strength advantage that Blowhole has is, is just overwhelming. And that's a, I'm that's surprised a... that they're not getting the bottle ball. There's oh, karate is just you know we see him moving up the floor and he's great on the defensive end, but he seems to be uh just not doing well converting. Yeah. On the offensive side. There's that shithead with a three pointer. There's. There's some nice action from Karate. Yeah, Karate is a... Uh, Gentle touch. He's an excellent player all around, and the funny thing is, is that these guys are shooting like the same amount of shots. Like, yeah. the field goal percentage is virtually the same. It's just, it's just a bad... It's just bad basketball. Like, yeah. I mean, maybe these guys shouldn't be playing. Federal Bell has stitches in his head, he's concussed. <laughs> Um, these guys are sad because a Shadow Realm has taken people, other people are concussed. Yeah. Karate Hendrix recently lost, I believe. Or did he just have a really nice win over somebody? I can't remember. Uh, Karate... I think he beat Zoning Zhang in, in a kickboxing. Way. Yeah. Right. And Take we, it, Philly. Oh. And we see, we see three men on both sides at the scorer's table ready to check in. Um... And it looks like they're going to with a, a foul on Fragrant Tanaka. He's he's got two quick ones. That's wow. I mean, a guy that is that into knife death matches is not someone <laughs> that you want to call a bunch of fouls on. 
Yeah. Uh, and you just don't want to call weird. a bunch of fouls on the alt right because they're gonna they're gonna complain to the refs. They're gonna complain to the, the league offices. They're it's gonna unfair, file. It's a conspiracy. Like, yeah. Yeah. So let's see. We got Technology Cooper in for Tanaka. We got Night Spain Cult in and Chuchai Train B Ball Court in on the alt right side. And let's see. I think Captain White, uh, I believe that might be Blaster Robinson, and and Bradford Culpepper is, is on the oh court. Oh my god. Cor uh, Bradford Culpepper is on the court. I'm very he interested just made to see a, how he plays. He just made a great play. He intercepted that alley-oop. Yeah. Terry Funk says karate should be doing more. Um, karate does have the, the physical skills and size that should lead to dominance in this league of any leagues. Yeah. Uh, I'll say that much. He seems tentative offensively. It well, it, it's an issue of of both the he's a little tentative and just poor time management, poor ball movement in in no one really seeing how to get the ball to him in an advantageous position. He he sometimes ends up too far away from the basket instead of you know, being able to either back his opponent down or just clear space out for him and let him work. Who's the guy in b-ball court? Uh, that is Chuchai trained b-ball court. Uh, oh, his... that's funny. Yeah. You know, he, uh, Zero he... points in the last 226. This is um, just a bad basketball game. Yeah. Captain White we're seeing. <laughs> like, <laughs> man... Oh God, this is a, a far cry from from last last Saturday's game. Last Saturday's game was downright epic. It really yeah. was. Uh, I don't... From the from like the first month, there was like four or five lead changes in the first quarter alone. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna hit seventy points for either team, let alone combined. But no. Now, Oh, um, Cooper. Now you know this better than most because you've covered these basketball games before. We haven't really gotten many on tape. We just cleared the broadcasting rights. Yes. Um, alt right should be better than this. I feel. Uh, I mean, at times or, or... they've 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 certainly got they've got all the skills to be better. They just you know it's. I think it's a mental thing they struggle with at times. Um, Blaster Robinson versus Blowhole Bernard down low is like the matchup I'm watching because those dudes, Blaster Robinson's the hardcore tag champ, one half of the hardcore tag champs, um, but Blowhole Bernard, or no, I'm sorry, Blowhole Bernard is one half of the hardcore tag champs, but Blaster Robinson is a former MMA champ. Yeah. Uh, damn, damn good fighter. Um, that's an intro Culpepper. Yeah. Culpepper with his weird, like, he's got that shooting motion where he kicks both his feet up at the same time. It's very awkward looking. But yeah, Blaster and, and Blowhole is, is definitely a, a matchup that I'm interested in seeing. Oh, and there's, there's Cult with a, a nice little drive. Are you watching the Twitch stream, or are you watching your your show, your actual game? I'm uh, I am watching the the television and not the Twitch. Interesting. Because then it, it gets are... the situation of you know we're talking about something that is as we're seeing it, it's it's long past, and when the when the viewers hear it, it'll be you know slightly behind. Oh my God. As as has happened in, in the past with other commentary, unfortunately. It's true. It's just interesting oh. to see someone like I mean now Boston is back in the league in or yeah. in the lead and you know uh, Johnny Depp impersonator uh, tries to take like control of the game and that just does not work out. Yeah. Well, that was a terrible first quarter. It was um, abysmal. <laughs> like these men like we're seeing photos of like we don't know if that even goes in uh just like these are terrible photos um fragrant tanaka missing a block there 
and uh, here a Supreme just given the basketball a, a light smooch, I think. We, did, yeah. we didn't even get a timeout. We didn't even see any weird uh, Xylop mascot action, which is something <laughs> I really love. It's so true. Uh, these cheerleaders are holding water bottles and throwing them. Are, are those rocks? What is that? Uh, they might be burritos. They might be t-shirts. I'm not sure. Some sort of cylinder. Some Some sort of promotional cylinder. Chuchai, with an awesome knockout over Wigwam, brings uh, the ball up the floor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what do you know about these teams? Talk to me about, like, Colt. Like, how is he his best ball player? Like, who should I be watching out for on the floor here? Uh, well, definitely be on the look for Captain Y as, as he takes it in. But um, for the alt-right currently, uh, Chuchai is a, a very strong finisher. If he can get some space to, to rock it to the hoop, um... You know, Cooper's got some ranges we saw earlier. He has he has a three pointer, which you know, not saying a ton, but it's uh it's better than a lot of the other guys on the on the team. You know, Karate Hendricks, of course, for the Supreme Team. Um, you know, Bradford Culpepper's got a decent mid range game. Oh, ah, that is a shocking turn of events. Freddie Fisher blocking Blaster Robinson's shot to cause a shot clock violation. At what point is something like that going to cause a fight to happen, like this weekend in the oh, CFL? God. Well, you know, any 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 big blocks, any big, you know, anytime someone gets dunked on severely, I'm sure, any any kind of hard or flagrant fouls, I'm sure, are definitely gonna cause you know some some something more than heated words to be exchanged. Um, I really l want to talk to them backstage after the game maybe during halftime and see if they want that if they want that fight oh fisher and blaster yeah i want to see that that was badass <laughs> freddie fisher should never block blaster robinson like that like that that would cause a fight <laughs> i mean you know blaster uh, you know he he's coming off a, a knockout win over uh Good God! A knockout win over boxing Bianca in, <laughs> in in kickboxing. He, you know, he might be eyeing up uh, Chu Chai. You know, with that uh, that upcoming, you know, we we think a a shoot title fight for Chu Chai coming up against right. boxing. So there might be uh, issues on the on the alt right again. You know, like I said, the, this is this is not a full complement of of alt right players. It's uh it's three guys and some dudes they they recruited we're also kind of seeing the alt-right melt down right oh now. yeah yeah um i would say that captain white and bradford culpepper like really like changed momentum in this game yeah. like these random ass men <laughs> like bradford culpepper the last thing he really wants to be doing this but then again i think that he thinks in his mind that like hey you know this is this is my time to not have to think about bike bianca yeah and, uh you know, for 48 minutes out there, I'm not thinking about my, about bike. And, uh... Not thinking about bike, not thinking about uh, his police boss, Nate. He just gets to, he just gets to hoop it up. You know, <laughs> that's is, yeah. Bradford Everybody Culpepper, loves. number, number five zero on, on the court. God, just too much ball movement. Throw There's... the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then they always throw up a desperation, <laughs> terrible shot. Yeah. This is so bad. Zero points in the last three minutes for the alt-right. Like, but oh well, they're down by four. Yeah. You know, it's it's terrible. Flagrant Tanaka drawing the foul, not afraid to get physical. He's a, a hardcore contender uh, in one half of the first ever knife fight now that is, in SCFL history. That's actually Chichai. Oh, was that Chu Chai? That is Chu Chai. Uh, he, you can, it's kind of hard to tell at certain points, but Chu Chai has, uh, you know, full, full wrist sleeves, kind of reminiscent of his tie wraps. Oh. Um. I see. Yeah. He's well. Chu Chai is extremely aware of his wrists. Yes. More so than most people. <laughs> like, yeah. In general. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's just always thinking about his wrist health. Well, I mean, yeah, if you if you put so much uh, stock in your in your fighting career and in your punches and elbows, then you definitely want to support them in in just a game you're playing. Uh, uh you know, like um, that that missed free throw might might come back to haunt them. Absolutely. As we see the Supremes just step on the line. Culpepper is kind of leading the charge out there, isn't he? Yeah. Like, uh, like oh, we're just seeing some God. terrible basketball, but Culpepper is out there hustling. I'm seeing yeah. him on both ends of the court. That's that's what a man who's in an operation can do. He just yeah, absolutely runs down there, drains a a mid range jumper. Federal Bell number fourteen in the black headband. Uh, he was a veteran of the golf uh, operation yeah. in the early 90s, and also a former tag team champion. Also the father of Aladdin Bell, who I don't yeah. think is on a basketball team. He is currently not. Uh, this is, I don't know what's going on. This is a very bizarre moment. <laughs> <laughs> This was poorly thought out. I mean, first you have Chuchai intercept the alley oop, rush down and stop and and let uh, I think that was Philly Supreme catch up. They they had a man advantage. Waste clock, pass it to Fragrant Tanaka, who throws up the worst shot imaginable. And now this is what you get. You get fucking dunked on by old ass <laughs> Hero Supreme. <laughs> Hero Supreme is surprisingly athletic for a man his age, and we all know it. A man his also age and former weight. Ta <laughs> former tech champ, former trios champ. The man is a former kickboxing champ. He's a yeah. he's a small business owner. <laughs> he's he is everything that you could ever want in a basketball full of surprises. player. Yes, he's what you want in a in a four. You know. Yeah. Well, he's uh, Hero was typically the the start. He's actually the starting point guard. Him and him and Federal oh, Bell are having a yeah are having a little bit of a, oh. a point guard duel. He well he's got that tactician mind. He's he he's he can kind of spread the floor and and basically just yell at Cheesesteak to move around. I tell you what, Bradford Culpepper is my player of the game thus far, which <laughs> is just you know he probably has I like that he, four points. Yeah, but he's also <laughs> you know like that he's thinking like I gotta hustle to to just get my name out there to keep Bike yeah. aware that I'm out here you know yeah because uh, Bike Bianca is somewhere out there right yeah. now and he should be playing basketball if the uh, if if the Belly Ribbon team were to play but they're not they're not they're not scheduled to play tonight but uh, you know that can change you know at any point in the on a whim yeah yeah on a, on a whim Nyman yeah. <laughs> Uh, can Ichab change on a whim diamond. Ichabod has yep. seen enough. He has called a timeout from the sidelines. He is <laughs> rushing the court. Ron Harris has his legal papers that are totally <laughs> unnecessary. Like, explaining why they have the right to take a timeout. Um, and the referee is just it, like, yes, you have, you have timeouts. You can take them. You possess Except the ball. That, you know, timeouts are not a thing that you can take in public. It is, you know, uh, exclusively for these games. Yeah. Um. So because Ichabod's always trying to take timeouts and, like, yeah. you know, look up his his damn point. Yeah, you. He can't actually let these carry over into kickboxing or or pro wrestling, and he can't take a timeout in a tough moment of a match when it looks like he might be losing. You know, he's, yep, that's he's got to be. He's got to be reminded of that fact. It's always trying to do that. God. So it's a six-point game, which, uh, with the way the alt-right is shooting, is nearly insurmountable. But, you know, we've, we've seen both teams go through cold spells, so... Exactly. Uh, I mean, it's either... <laughs> either this six-point game is completely insurmountable, or it's they're going to be winning by, like, four within the next minute. Yeah. I feel like that's... <laughs> They just need to. They just need to know to to shoot a little more often, or shoot shoot with you know a little more urgency. And there you go. Federal Bell might be the player of the game. The the problem is every play he calls is he just says run the operation. That was too much of a Bradford voice, but run the operation. 
And the, was in an operation. The other team, the other players don't really understand which play he means because there's like six different plays that are all <laughs> called the operation. I feel like Bradford Culpepper has not had a break in a while. Uh, he hasn't, but... Terrible. You know, uh, oh, God. Why can't these guys make a, like create a play here? As Federal Bell just takes over. <laughs> <laughs> Gets to the hoop. Gets the land, gets the foul called on him. Looking for the the free throw. Hero's got to be kicking himself for giving up not only the easy foul, but not even stopping Federal Bell from scoring. I think Bradford might be taking a rest as uh, Freddie Fisher and perhaps Karate Hendricks are coming back on the court. Uh, no, it looks like Bradford's still out there. Bradford's not coming out. <laughs> I want to remind Mike that I'm, I can't even do it. Can you do an impression of him? Oh, God, let me see if I can. So he's he's just wants to remind Mike that he's out there. I yeah, just want yeah. Mike to know I'm still <laughs> here. <laughs> God, just... Uh, someone do something. It's so bad. Stop passing oh my the ball. God. What are you doing? That like, thank God, Freddie Fisher's out here. It's so just Freddie Fisher drained a shot in Blaster's face and blocked him earlier. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Oh. They have to fight this weekend. Oh wow! What the hell? What the hell? Hero goes down to an illegal pick from Big Blaster. He is, he's getting wow. peeved. Yeah. Freddy Fisher's a little, 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 put a little oh. bit of shine on it. I don't oh know. God, Freddy Fisher is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a he's a former dot TV champion. We know he's got it. He's like True. arguably the second or third best dot TV champion. We yeah. know he can do well. Like the guy probably just had a, like an IPA and a sausage. He's he's ready. <laughs> Come on, guys, do something. Do literally anything. God. This <laughs> this five point lead does feel like fifteen, though. It really does. Oh, God. This is the second quarter. Oh my God. <laughs> so if if the supreme team scores a point, they will have basically scored as many points in the first quarter because they had i think it was 15 to 16 so they yeah. they're they've they've they're on pace for what they scored in the first the alt right is slightly behind oh is that cult cutting in there why are these guys constantly staring at the ceiling <laughs> is there uh someone they're up there Maybe i think they're, they're i think they're confused there does look like to be like that masked guy up there uh, Maybe. i'm looking up there now Oh, wow. Yeah. Something's up there. Oh, wow. I mean, we all know that, like, when they're not, when they're not making sandwiches at the sandwich shop, like, they have a little, they have a hoop at, at the hero, uh, at the Supreme Family yeah. Buick. Wow. Federal Bell is drawing so many fouls. Yeah, third foul on Hero. I mean, it's 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 good. It's halftime, but you know he's he might be sitting for a good chunk of the the third quarter just to avoid any oh, issues. Yeah. Who uh, would substitute for him? Ah, oh, goodness, who is their backup point guard? Um, you know, I I think that's a that's a tough question considering. I think most of their their three other guys off the bench are you know more more forward types. You know, I guess Captain White could could take over if need be. Um, you know, Philly could probably try and run point. Um, oh wow! There's some urgency. You know, I I think what what it is people keep looking up at the uh, 
the umbrellas that are that are dropping down there oh, yeah. well, and the blimp that's a, yeah but the dude who's dropping them is masked in oh. some sort of jumpsuit oh that guy that <laughs> freaking weirdo he's yeah. not part of tonight's entertainment you guys <laughs> Uh, Weather Walker sledding Bianca and um, another gentleman at the table there. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Weather Walker, you know, him and Bradford had a, a, a slobber knocker of a fight last Saturday. It's kind of surprising Bradford's coming out for this one. It's true. Celtics are actually shooting better, and they yeah. have more rebounds. Uh, it's those steals. There's a block there, so turnovers are definitely yeah. an issue. Yeah, Hero with 12 points, pretty pretty solid outing so far from uh from the you know I say the patriarch. He doesn't uh, he doesn't approve of the patriarchy, but you know the the leader of the supreme family. You know, knowing that this is the, uh, you know, the alt-right is essentially the home team, these are probably MAGA hats being fired in the, into the crowd. It's true. Poor Xylophone just doesn't want to be doing it. <laughs> Interesting that the Supremes are one of those people that'll wear the t-shirt underneath. Yeah. Big five point lead here. Yes. This feels like the first time Petrov's been on the court in a while. Oh, yeah. I feel like he barely played the second quarter. Yeah. God, no. Just... Maybe he was just neutralized. I don't know. Yeah. Like, Blowhole, I feel like, has been a god out there, but maybe it's his pink shoes. I mean, everyone's really been neutralized by indecisiveness. <laughs> yeah. Except for Hero. It's so true. Uh, you know, Freddie Fisher is doing pretty damn well out there, too. True. He's got a lot of, like, weird intangibles, though. Yeah. Oh, karate. Like, Freddie Fisher is the guy getting the assists and getting the rebounds. He's playing solid D. It's not like he's getting, like, he's doing incredibly, but he's, like, doing well enough. Ugh. Oh. His little screen moves really freed up Petrov for that three-pointer. It's like when the alt-right is full strength, they're they're a pretty yeah. scary team. Oh, goodness. Philly with a, an ill-advised attempt at an alley-oop. That was Freddie Fisher that he snatched it from, right? Yep. So, yeah, Blaster and, and Fisher keep going back and forth. They really are, more than any other matchup. I don't know what Tanaka was thinking with that. <laughs> no, no need to kick your feet in the air. <laughs> well, no need to shoot from that far Take back. Take it, Philly. <laughs> God. I mean, a lot of these guys are not being guarded very closely, and they they have the room to <laughs> to go for something, but they're just so scared. I think I'm so skittish because <laughs> I think I think what what it really is is you know nice nice shot from fisher but what it is yeah you, you see a guy like if you're ichabod adams and you see a guy like philly supreme now granted that was cheesest covering him but you know you, even cheesesteak supreme staring you down you think back to all the times he's punched <laughs> you in the face and you're like yeah. do i really try for a shot when i just expect him to punch me in the stomach or chest or face and you know that he'd get kicked out of the game if he did but you still think He's kind of that guy that would punch me anyway. Exactly, and like the most of these guys are fighting or playing the, this this basketball match right now, with stitches in their face or body, with bruises. Yeah. They're 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 still feeling they're sore from last weekend. You know, yeah. if they fought and 
considering last weekend where we had a kickboxing card and a wrestling card, like just about all these guys are 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 sore right now or yeah. cut up and beat up. And so, I mean, that's the thing. Like, they've also been doing this for years against each other. Beautiful shot by karate, finally. Like, they needed yeah. that. Um, it, and, and you're right, Jessica. It adds uh, a very unique tentativeness to yeah. these basketball games. Like, it's a very it's very sad. All these men are very much flinching, and yet the game <laughs> is very physical because, like, they're all comfortable doing that. Yeah. It's weird. I think if this was a, a more contact ex- Big dunk from Choo Chai. He's got those yeah, springs. Yeah, they're relatively in his... respectful of the rules, you know. Yeah, but I think if you know if they were playing football or, or rugby or something with more contact, something that you know everyone's expected to be hit and it's it's allowed to to put some body weight behind things, I think there'd be you know more open play. But in basketball, it's it's such a such a more finesse oriented game. It's it's hard for some of these guys to to just you know, go for it in terms of opening up for a shot. Well, that's why Pike chose it. It's, it's you know, yeah. everyone's staying in shape. You know, it's healthy. Uh, it really brings the teams together, and it's it's relatively low impact. Yeah. A lot of... Uh, uh, but cal- a, as we can see, this bad, <laughs> bad basketball. Uh, but Blowhole and Fisher, like, second half has been all Blowhole. Yeah. A lot of uh, missed alley oop attempts finally resulting in Ichabod connecting with uh, Blaster or Blowhole. I can't remember who it. Jeez, it's. I, th- I know. God, that's so disrespectful me of me. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't uh, have a program. I, I actually made the mistake earlier. Like, see, that shit could have been an alley oop, but like that was good three. Who's that by? I think that was Philly. Was it Philly? I wasn't sure if it was Jesus. Um, yeah, the Supremes have a shot, kinda, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, Blowhole Bernard is definitely keeping the the all right in this game. <laughs> I'm mean, the 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 leads Blowhole down to Bernard, three. Who also carried around. Carried around uh, Justice Turner's arm for weeks yes. while Justice Turner was sucked into the Shadow Realm. Um, kept it in his freezer with his fish sticks. There they are. They have those uh, like rocks wrapped in wire. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, It's certainly a, a bizarre choice. I mean, it's coming down to it, Jessica, that we may see the winners of uh, the last game maybe take on the winners of this game. Seeing as how Mr. Walsh is in here. Yeah. It's up to you. I mean, there's always the option of uh, seeing if the if the Belly Ribbon team is available to play. Yeah. I think they might be, but uh, I'd have to double check that. Yeah. I thought Freddie Fisher might have accidentally been too too close to the line, just holding the ball immediately after inbounding it. <laughs> I'm surprised at how little technology Cooper has played, but then again, I don't know if he's interested much yeah, in this. I mean, I don't know if we've gotten that on YouTube yet, um, but you should definitely check out our YouTube, but it'll be coming up soon. Very graphic. This last week, technology Cooper, who's in there, just passed away the ball. Um, through Puncho Baggins, through barbed wire, and Puncho basically had his face torn off. Technology Cooper... Yeah. yeah. Yes. It was uh it was gruesome. It was terrifying. Um 
And, you know, I, I think Cooper is just thinking about the World Cup, mostly. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't care too much of, you know, basketball. God, these or teams... Poncho, for that matter. No. You know, I, I tried to get a... Not necessarily a word, because I didn't want him to speak and tear his stitches, but, you know, maybe a... Uh, uh, something he could write down from from Puncho, and you know he, as, as best I could tell, he does want uh, another opportunity, um, even if it's another barbed wire match. He said he, he you know, it, it seemed like he was fine with that, uh, but he definitely feels that he was not given an opportunity to to you know compete fully against Technology Cooper. Right. And and you know I I I get his point that you typically don't have a referee stoppage in a hardcore match, especially a hardcore title match. But, you know, I mean, sledding Bianca is... He's got, you know, he's got a weak stomach. Uh, and that was pretty gross. I mean, yeah, he does have a weak stomach, but also he's seen a lot of stuff in that in that ring. Yeah. And, uh, cage. and uh, for him to do that <laughs> kind of says something. Yeah. Uh, this is just the worst. It's just... <laughs> oh, I think we have definitely got a fight brewing. Yeah, we do. Freddie uh, Fisher with a flagrant guys... foul, pushing Blaster yeah. in the back. Oh my god. I, I think he might have said something in his ear as he shoved him. I mean, it didn't help matters because Blaster made the shot and he's about to potentially tie this game up. Which I oh, was not paying enough attention. His temper is it could cost them. Come on, it's taken them the entire oh, quarter to gain God. back this. Uh, this this Blast this. Uh, I keep saying blaster. It's, it's blowhole Bernard. Uh, my apologies yeah. again, but he is. He looks tired. I don't think he's stepped off the court this entire other than halftime. I think yeah, he's been on court true. the entire game. <laughs> I get that the alt right doesn't really have much in the way of big of men, the but people, it should not be him though. The he's no. a, he's a co hardcore champion right now. <laughs> um, who is that who made that? Uh, I think that was God. I uh, might have been Cooper. Thank God, uh, people should be thanking Culpepper, <laughs> who does not want to be forgotten. Um, Remember the name, like... Bradford oh, yeah. Culpepper. <laughs> <laughs> the all right has taken eight minutes to like get like a point lead from a five point deficit at the beginning of the half. Or it's so bad. <laughs> like it's been nine minutes. <laughs> like just like, grinding it out. <laughs> this is <been>, like <laughs> These guys are oh, playing God. hard basketball <laughs> like, for them, you know. They, oh, they are definitely trying their best. Captain now, White is low key doing good yeah. though. Now Federal Bell is gonna ha ISO the ball for the the entirety of the the rest of this quarter. Uh, everyone's gonna stare at him. He's gonna put up a very bad shot. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh. Freddy oh, Fisher oh, is God. a hero. Freddy Fisher's pissed off. Oh my God, this is so funny. Like Ichabod's throwing a tantrum and jacking <laughs> off. Like <laughs> so bad. Oh my God. Oh. Like here's the uh, athletic commission <laughs> discussing if this should even be happening. <laughs> Captain White, Johnny Depp lover. Yeah. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean impersonator bringing the ball up the court. Captain White doing really well. Yeah. I still don't understand why Blaster hasn't taken a, a seat. Uh, <sighs> like, it's... Or blowhole, you mean. Blowhole. Jesus. <laughs> God. Wow. That was... <laughs> oh, wow. You know, and it, 
this is just ridiculous. Um, Freddie Fisher and Blaster have to fight this week. Yeah. Like a totally <laughs> terrible <laughs> federal <laughs> bullet call is such a bad thing. <laughs> God. This is so bad. I, f I feel like it's it's just going to be a three-point game for the rest of this quarter, for the rest of the game. God. I got to know who is the player of the game right now. I have no oh. idea at this point. It very well could be Freddie Fisher. Yeah. What the hell? Freddie Fisher. Two turnovers. Setting an illegal pick on... Uh, Night Spain cult. <laughs> Bernard's still in the game. He refuses Lead to leave. Syndrome. The steel drum band. Uh, yeah, Blowhole Bernard is going to play this entire <laughs> the game. He's exhausted. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. god. Petrov ties the game. I am freaking out. I'm pretty even. I just don't want the alt right to win, especially if I, after I tweeted derisively at Ichabod, the picture of him <laughs> crying. I don't know about the picture of him crying. Oh, the at the at the end of the third quarter where he's doubled over like screaming and. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> Tim goes, nah! it's not good. fair. Oh God, damn it. That's like, I don't even know if you get that out of like, pee wee basketball. That's grade school. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, that's grade school level, and that's like, it's like not even grade school. It's like before junior. Well, that junior high, I would. Yeah. Before junior high, that's like pre K. <laughs> oh goodness, he should have went up harder, which is not an in innuendo. Cooper blocking karate. I think the issue is that the alt right doesn't have anyone that can consistently rebound and stop in the in the paint. So Bernard's got to be on the court. They just don't have anyone as that big strong rim protector. Right there. I mean, they're lucky that Cooper and Federal Bell are kind of. You know, and Petrov comes in and hits a three. Yeah. Then he disappears. You know. <laughs> All right, that that went in somehow. <laughs> I, I think Blaster pulled the rim down, and then the ball went in yeah. on top of it. Which, I mean, if if Hero was far back enough, that should be a three pointer. But it, I think it's also Baskin interference if that's the case. Holy cow! Bell and Petrov showing why they're a tag team, showing why they're former tag champs with that beautiful reverse dunk alley oop. Oh, oh. Talk about meltdowns, the Supreme family are losing it. They really gotta start attacking Bernard because he is too tired. Yeah. He's exhausted. <sighs> Hero in, in deep traffic. Terrible. That was a foul. <laughs> well, it normally would be, but when Ron Harris is, is threatening to to sue your wife in civil court, you as sure. a referee, you kind of back off. I mean, four and a half minutes in, in these SCFL games is an, an a, a, a eternity, you know? Absolutely. So... Oh. Captain White needs to get out of this game, though. I don't... <laughs> there was just open space for so many people on the Supreme Team, and they just <laughs> squandered that. White could have driven. Hero could have driven. Takes a bad three. <laughs> clanks off the, Hero. the rim. Hero has missed so many shots today. Oh, my God. Absolutely terrible. 
Technology Cooper, a man who I don't think really understands most of the aspects of basketball. <laughs> Banking in a deep three-pointer off the glass. He's banked in a few now. I know. Like, yeah, he, he's totally blank out there. He does not care. He's, he's just he's, chucking it up. All he's thinking is, you're not allowed to kick it, you're not allowed to kick it, you're not allowed to kick it. That's all he's. That's all he has to remember. Oh boy! They gotta get Bradford Culpepper in there. Are you kidding me? What a meltdown! Wow! Captain Federal White. Federal get blocked. Captain White says, "Get that out of here. I don't care about your operation." <laughs> Was Johnny Depp ever in a Desert <laughs> Storm movie? <laughs> I doubt it. Ah, oh, Jesus! Just, just a disgrace. Terrible. The thing is, you know, these teams just their their panic turns into brilliance because they they run the clock down so much it, it limits the opportunities the other team has to try and get back in the game. Oh my god! Eight point game. Right, this is, yeah, this is done. This I'm gonna have is to, done. I have to delete that tweet before Ichabod sees it. <laughs> Technology Cooper is pumped up. I hate this. This is certainly not a, uh, not, not the scoring, uh, kind of extravaganza we had last, uh, last time out. Blowhole Bernard finally getting a chance to sit down. Finally. The game in hand. <laughs> He's probably still going back out there, though. Until... Oh, yeah. Until it's definitely 100% locked up. Wow. Player of the game already being given out with uh, two and a half minutes to go. We, we saw how disastrous that was last time, but I feel like it's uh, it's less of an issue here. I am still kind of surprised. Man, Petrov has been like a very quiet player of the game, right? I mean, he's hit some clutch threes, uh, but other than that, I don't think he's, I don't feel he's had the, the kind of impact that some of these other guys have had. You know, I mean, if, uh, if the Supreme team were in the lead, I would have considered Freddie Fisher with some of his, you know, key blocks and, and rebounds. Uh, you know, even Federal Bell getting to the line as often as he did. Big foul. Yeah. Hero, hero again. Nice pink cult smelling his hand for some reason. <laughs> uh, well, I assume he, he high fived. Like I assume he, he <laughs> high fived Bernard and like fish sticks. He, why does he <laughs> yeah. always smell like fish sticks? <laughs> Hero needs to sink these because the Supreme Team is, has, I feel like they haven't scored in at least an hour. It feels like a, a huge drought. They probably scored like three or four points this quarter. Yeah. It's weird because in the third, you know, we're, we're laughing at how, how long it took the alt-right to, to chip away at the lead. And then they just took the lead and it's like they haven't looked back. Six-point game. Let's see. Let's see what happens with uh, these remaining two minutes. 120 seconds. These are basically the... Uh, Original starting lineups for both teams. Fragrant Tanaka has basically been uh, quiet like this whole game yep. up until now. Yep, just as he's mentioned his name. He shimmies and shakes his way to the basket. Oh boy. I 
I mean, here here is a crafty veteran. He knows how to how to sucker a guy in to to get a, a foul called on them. So that's three fouls each on Tanaka and Bernard, but with you know minute forty five left, I don't think there's going to be any panic in terms of foul trouble. Tell you what, I'd like to see Jason What's over that? overtime. Oh my God! Just to see how tired Bernard could get. Will he just start laying down on the court? I mean, if Hero hits this next one, anything can happen. Like we've yeah. seen swings, you know. Yep. He's got to hit this though. I mean, it's it's not impossible to get stops it's just you know getting a stop without you know the alt right chewing up basically 22 seconds of 23, the clock yeah <laughs> 23 and a half yeah maybe more oh i was about to say well if you leave leave it that easy then you deserve to lose but ichabod didn't quite they need get to convert that. fast yeah Finally, show some urgency. My God, Hero is putting he's and I'm, he's I'm sure in his back. in his words, these goddamn idiots. Uh, these fucking guys they need to they just get out of my way and let me drive to the basket. Just like uh, Pistol Pete Maravich. <laughs> Everyone's like, here, you no know, one knows that reference. Uh, whenever I make God a basket, I want you to play some uh, Katy Perry. <laughs> Hit it, hero. Hit this. Four point game. Four point game. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Come on. One I want to see game. hero just take the game over, you know? I'm gonna sit up now. Ho 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 ho! Hachi machi. <sighs> Hero on both ends of the court is just taking this over. Jeez, us. The karate, finally, come on, let's do this, baby. Ho cha. I'm just saying syllables. I am so hyped up. Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Oh, hero is a foul. Federal Bell is such a dick. <laughs> They're gonna chew up so much clock. Oh my god! God, just keep going to the hoop, hero. No! Oh my god! This is crazy! <laughs> Blow and Freddy are getting clutch rebounds back and forth. Oh my god, terrible defense. Come on! Come on, hero! Push on Federal, hero! What are you doing? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Time out, time out, Oh my god! Let's do oh. this, Jessica! Let's Last do this! Play of the game. Who Coming takes the up. shot? Who do you want to who do you want to take the shot? You gotta go I mean, I'd say hero, but I think oh, he needs more time rocks to work. With wires covering them. <laughs> <laughs> Trusty wire. I think they're trying to knock down the blimp, they're trying to get the man in the mask. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> like, why? <laughs> my, my blimp. <laughs> no. Um, my god. Oh god. I, I, Is... Yeah, Hero's got to take the shot. I'll t I'll, I would take Freddy. Huh? I just say you're on the beat. Do you know if there is a is a blimp Bianca in the in the shadows somewhere? Jeez, that's a great question. I don't know. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of Bianca's out there. <laughs> thousands of Bianca's <laughs> just scuttling around. <laughs> they are just, Hello, just, I am you know, Baker when... Bianca. <laughs> there's so God. many of them. 
I feel like this is just gonna end poorly. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Get fucked, oh! alright? Oh, fuck oh you guys. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what a shot! Oh! Holy Karate shit! Karate Hendrix, baby! Karate and Hero, well, really Hero at the end to get him back in it, but Karate and Hero at the very end. My god, another player of the game going to the wrong man on the wrong team. That was <sighs> fucking awesome. What a game. It looked like trash, but it turned into so much treasure. Wow, that was... These... <sighs> these scoring stats are pretty pathetic. And there's Blowhole. <laughs> 36 minutes. Oh my god. He played 36 out of 36 minutes. Yep. I am blown away. I think that uh, uh, the Supreme Buick and... Um, Sons. Who won the last one? The Suns yeah, beat they, they the, the Hodgepodge. I think they gotta play next time because I really want to see uh I want to see Belly Ribbon take on someone and yeah but but like uh uh bike <laughs> isn't there true Sonny's hurt I mean cheese is, is is hurt and he still went out there and gave it his that's all. true but bike isn't there but I mean yeah. that was one of the greatest um I mean oh, we just God. saw a, a last second shot win the game yeah. 2.7 <sighs> seconds left. I don't... Like, they were down 7 at one point. With, like, th two and a half minutes Eight. to go. 8. 8. God. Yeah. God. Which was it, 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 the biggest lead in the game. <clears throat> Look at that. Hero, 19 points. What a fucking superstar. That That is winner player of the game right there. Yeah. And Karate Hendrix, too. Oh, Jesus at, didn't like, score a point. Nine. Yeah. 23 minutes and he had one rebound and two turnovers. That's a he very... Is, he has been knocked out twice in like the last three weeks, though. Yeah. Uh, in wrestling and kickboxing. So what do you want to do here? Oh, boy. Uh, well, I mean... If we want to see if we can get another basketball game going, we can. If people... Would like to see some kickboxing, or if we just want to call it a night, it's <clears throat> it's entirely up to you. I know there's, you know, there's meetings planned down the road um, once Walsh shows up. I don't know when that's going to be. I know he's got a, a bit of a later schedule. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what what do you think about doing just a a, a wrestling or or, or a uh, just one more basketball? Yeah, we can definitely do that. I wanna, I wanna take a look at those fourth quarter numbers. God, those five free throws really helped. Ten on defensive rebounds for the supreme team. My God. You're right about Wim. Uh, I feel like Wim has to be in a one-on-one -on -one game if that's possible. In basketball, trying to defend his dot TV <laughs> title. Uh, well, he's uh, he hasn't he hasn't signed up yet, so. Ah, uh, damn. Um, I'll be right back. I need to grab a water. Alrighty. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh boy, what a... What a game.